this last one, it gives me my x values that I need to substitute into the equation that they've given me. So my first x that I want to solve for is negative 3. So I want to take this equation up top, y equals 4x minus 2, but I need to substitute in negative 3 for x. So I need to do four parentheses four times negative 3. Remember, when operations like 4x are side by side, that means you need to multiply them together. So I'm going to have to do 4 times negative 3 and then subtract 2. Using order of operations from last test, I know that I need to do that multiplication first. I need to do 4 times negative 3. You've got that calculator up top if you're not sure. Is it supposed to be positive or negative? So click on it. If I do 4 times negative 3, I see my answer should be negative 12. And then I need to bring down that minus 2. So I have negative 12 minus 2. And again, use the calculator. No shame in the calculator game. Check your work. If I have negative 12 minus 2, I see that my answer is going to be negative 14. So that means I need to write in this blank, negative 14. And then I want to do the same thing all over again. Keep that work there. Keep that work there. Now I need to substitute in 5 for my x. So now I've got 4. I'm substituting in 5 for my x. So I need to do 4 times 5 and then minus 2. 4 times 5 minus 2. Order of operations again, I need to multiply first. 4 times 5 is 20. Then I can't forget, I got to bring down that minus 2. 20 minus 2 gives me 18. So then I plug in 18 right there into my chart. 